Hey everyone, it's John Martini from Joker Martini. Got a new tool here called Texture Set Loader for 3DS Max 2022 or newer. This allows you to quickly add and build tons of materials based on texture sets that you might have. So in this case, you can see I picked a directory that had tons of subfolders that also contained textures within them. And the nice thing is when you load them in there, it automatically categorizes the files and puts their images in their corresponding slots uh, based on the naming convention. So if we go down to some of these other ones that have more maps, you'll see they have some emissive, displacement, things like that. Um, we got Space Cruiser. These are just some sample ones I downloaded offline. Uh, so if there's any, any of these that you want to use, you simply just highlight it and you can go ahead and apply it to your selection. So if we create a box in here, we'll create a, cute, a few. It will create the shader and apply it to those boxes. We'll do this tile one. Um, you also have the ability of going straight to the material editor. So if we have a couple of these selected or just one, when you hit this button, it'll throw it into the material editor. Again, if you have um, the slate editor open, it will automatically create a new panel and throw it in there for you as well. So I'll show that here. We'll do the chiseled cobble. Um, so yeah, it keeps it organized for you, puts it in a tab named the same as the shader. We'll go back to the compact one. Uh, the other option you have is putting them on kind of like shader objects. So if we select these three, uh, let's do this one, and then click this button here. It creates each shader, puts on a shader ball. In this case, it's just a teapot. So then you can quickly see what they look like. Uh, and then down here, which are just some settings you can adjust and kind of set and forget about it. It depends on what render engine you're using. It will create that PBR shader for that engine. So in this case, if we did say V-Ray, which is what we've been sampling with, but you can even do Corona physical. And now if we go back and create that same shader, it's going to be set up as a Corona shader with all the uh, textures assigned to their slots with gamma and color space set accordingly. Uh, the reason it's not previewing here is because my active render engine for the scene is still set as V-Ray. Um, some additional features you can do is you can highlight stuff and hit delete on the keyboard to remove them from this window or you can simply click this button here. If you want to clear everything you can click this button. Um, you can come in here and actually adjust what maps are assigned to which slot. So if you want to get rid of these you can hit again the minus sign or hit the delete key and it will remove them and then what you can do is actually go assign a map and you can manually navigate out here and assign uh, custom maps to specific slots that you want to uh, which is really nice and then from there you can simply just go ahead and build your shader and you'll get uh, probably a funky result in this case but yeah it allows you to quickly build PBR shaders so check out the tool uh, if you have any suggestions, feedback, or render engines that you need support for that doesn't show down here. Feel free to reach out, and thanks.